Yo, what's up, YouTube? I look, I look, I look bad, cause like, first of all, first of all, first of all camera blurry. Oh, I got. Yo, YouTube, welcome back to another video. You see this box? Just throw it over there. Yo, YouTube, welcome to Comfortless. If you don't know me, I am Mark Keith, aka Mars World. I'm a brand owner, entrepreneur, and an author. And I also do photography. So, like, you know, give me a bit. So, something like that. But yeah, that's what I do. I'm a student at Lakeside. If you know what that is, I'm only, I'm only in 11th grade. I'm 17. So, like, I'm just a kid. Um, today's vlog, I don't know what we're doing specifically. Specifically. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. But today we're doing a vlog, uh, just a day in my life. Um, as a 17 year old brand owner, I guess. So we're just doing that. Today's fit is very, 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 very basic. Um, just rocking the uh, Adidas track pants. Um, I got some black socks on, but I'm also pairing this with my these socks, these are these are not mine. These are my father's. Um, mainly because, yo, this, this, this guy, this, this man, <laughs> this man was born in the 1990. He owes, so like, he used to wear the little scrunchy socks. So I wanted to style that, like, kind of like. This is all inspiration for him from like, you know how them females be wearing the outfits, but. I wanted to kind of put like a little guy twist to it. I'm pee like that. Right now I'm putting on a sock. And um today I don't know what I'm what shoes I'm gonna wear. I'm thinking about wearing the threes. They're not my size no more. That's why I look so small. I get a whole nother three. I bought these last year. End of the year, around Christmas, I bought these. And I just spent two hundred dollars and my foot my foot grew. Now I gotta Throw away half my shoes, but might just go Crocs just because they they go Crocs all the time. Never see them wearing like threes. It's always either Dunks, just Dunks. I got a job interview today, so I'm not gonna take y'all into the job interview because that's unprofessional. I'm a professional guy. I will record before and after. I'll tell y'all how it go, and then we'll be vlogging since then so y'all will most likely know if i got the job or not i was working out so i'm gonna keep y'all updated this is look like i got boots you know those little high-rise boots some rain boots that's what it looked like i got on right now but then we're gonna pair it with this little brown sweater little brown sweater with this. i don't know if we're gonna go i don't know if we're gonna do any accessories because I really don't wear accessories except for... Here's my bracelet. Except for my bracelet. This is my new one. It glow in the dark. I just be wearing it. But I got cologne. I left it in the car, so... And then I book bag, so I always wear my glasses. Um, I'm starting to not like glasses. Black right, today. I think I should go black, black today. Go Oval Office. Because I feel like I look better, like, with this. Like, I look a little nerdy. So, Little geeky. Let me just put it right here. I think it'll be better on my table. Uh, I got a little, little, little table. So you like, y'all see how you look like boots? Like, I'm not really rocking with that. I've never been able to like really show my fit, but this the fit. I think I need a hat, bro. Like, it's not bad. I think I just need a like. Just some not. It don't look right right now. I don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't really like it. Uh, so, recently I gave some pieces away to my to my homeboys. These right here, these are not coming out. I dropped these. Get, try to do a little giveaway thing. This is like my bad, my bad era. When I had first started my clothing brand, I had did that drop. It was black and pink. I had Mars World across the top on shirts, hoodies, pants. But I tried to do the pre-order method. So like. Pre-order method is just basically like the customer buys the product, but you don't have it on hand. As they're buying the product, 
you're building up enough money to give it to your manufacturers so you can send it out. Well, these are for show coming out. These are nasty and gunky. What the heck? I stepped in something. These pants were too long. I tried my manufacturer one more time to see if he's gonna do me right. In total, I probably lost probably like three, four hundred dollars. First, the first time he did me right, um, I know my, I gave it to my my dad. My dad bought all of them because they were actually like good samples. These ones that came in, I bought two of each colorway. They just came in bad. They were too long. They were going over the feet. They're too wide. If you know how to rock some of those, like I rock mine, they're perfectly fine to me, but that's not how I wanted them. I wanted them to be at the foot, but like flared. But with these, they have like a zipper to kind of like hide the flare. Now you don't got no flare and they more straight legged. I, I know a lot of brands don't have that. The double R is on this. It's on this side, yeah. It's on the opposite side. People usually put their logo on the left side, like Adidas. I just wanted to change it up and be different. Cause I know I know it was a piece that everybody like, oh, everybody got flare pants, everybody got this. So I just wanted to kind of like stick out the box with it. I started my brand when I was like, or before, yeah, after my sister's birthday. Well, it initially came to me to wanting to start a brand to get some money because I didn't really have like clothes in my closet. All my clothes were like bad. Like, I think this used to be in my closet, but this is getting small now. I don't really have no direction in like where my clothes is. And I'm very simple wearing. I like, I like going out the box sometimes, but like most of the time it's just like, hmm. Sometimes it'd be mix, mix matchy. Like I'd be tacky a little bit. Back in the ninth grade, I was real, a little tacky, a little tacky sometimes. I threw some stuff on and I sold some of my clothes. Usually I use like a print on demand. They print, basically got like blanks and they print on it and then send it to the customer themselves. So it's just like, they do all the work, but you just sit back and relax and kick it. When I first started off, it was cool. I sold, shirt i think i think i showed one shirt i wasn't really promoting it like i should i don't know how to promote so like it didn't really work for me at that time so i wanted more custom pieces so i was like oh maybe i should do this i see this trending the flare sweats i love the flare sweats but what can i do differently off of inspiration from this girl I start wanting to do the pink the pink drop the pink drop came around i started trying to do that i tried to do the pre -order. that's why i was talking about the pre-order method creator method didn't work because I didn't know how to promote it or market it. So it, it went bad. Moving on, I'm on to double R. Actually gonna drop, it's actually gonna be great. Um, I got homeboys that really, I, I got a lot of people that really like the design, but I really started this when I was, I'm 17 now. So 2021 is 2024. So three years ago, I was 15. Started this brand when I was 15. They have no money to start it. Started off print on demand. Been working towards it. Like the middle of this whole thing, I took a big old break. So that's why it's all the way, it started now in 2024 for that whole year. I was studying it. I was studying different ways to do it. I was studying other, other ones, but I just didn't take the initiative because I was like a little less confident in it because I didn't really think I knew what I was doing. So. I wanted to stay back on the sidelines. I wanted to take the time out to actually just like study it. And now I think I'm ready. I just gotta step into the room. I just gotta step in the room, but that's all what y'all support. If you wanna stay on this journey with me, subscribe, leave a like and comment if you just wanna show support. Dapper right now. Just came back from the interview. This is the uh, attire. It's currently raining outside. Like, like bad. Like bad. And then we just got some, some new buffalo chips from Cheeto. Cheeto has some buffalo chips. And I got a, a southern peach lemonade from Calypso. And I'm running in the rain right now, so I'm talking kind of fast. I personally think, personally, personally, shit. I personally think I did um, pretty swell for uh, 
my second interview of not knowing what I'm doing. My dad helped me before I went on an interview. He was just telling me, uh, like, stuff I should say, like, what should I talk about, stuff like that. Uh, I got to come back. Uh, well, I got to... I gotta wait for a call, call back, and just see when I'm gonna come. If they don't call back, call. They said call Tuesday or Wednesday at some times. Um, I'm recording for y'all tomorrow. Tomorrow is Saturday. Have no plans. Supposed to be in the house. I'm gonna figure out something to do. Probably read a book. Kind of like the gist of my uh, my vlog. Finish my interview. Y'all rate the drip from one to ten though. Break the drip from one to ten. You know what I'm saying that boy dapper. That boy, boy, dapper. That da da dapper. Dapper. I'm always looking good, but like this is like date night outfits. Like I'm gonna start doing this more. But if you want to see more like this, subscribe. You know, um, leave a like, show some support, comment, show some support. You know, just showing support. Uh, for the brand this is also for the brand this is not just like this is not mainly just me and my life this is also about the brand if you want to follow the brand follow this page and yeah um hope y'all guys have a good day night or evening and I'll, I'll see y'all next one i'll definitely see y'all next one peace Hi.